What's going on, y'all? Hot Born Soldiers here. I'm Days. Uh, I want to welcome you guys to the podcast. We got a special podcast for you guys today. I got two special guests, man. We actually do groups every Sunday um, and just fulfill our spirit with the Lord, man. Every time we go, it's like crazy. So I wanted to bring them on this show to show you guys, like, show you guys, like you know, kind of how um, we inspire each other, hoping that we'll inspire someone out there. You know what I mean? Because we live life. Uh, just like everyone else, you know what I'm saying? And we want to show, uh, we want to we want to be examples for other people, man. Like you guys are going through things, we're going through things, and if we if we could just help each other with our perspective and our knowledge of how we get overcome things on daily life, you know what I'm saying? Then and you know what I mean. We can inspire other people to do the same, and then they'll teach, and then they'll teach somebody, and then they'll teach somebody. So, uh, without further ado, man, I want to introduce you guys to the group. All right, this is my boy uh, Jacob. Jacob. Yeah. yeah. How's it going? Right. Rob with two Bs. Rob with two yeah. Bs. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody? Yeah. So, hey, man, I want to thank you guys for coming out. You know what I'm saying? We're here to talk about Jesus. It's going to be good. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's my wife behind the camera. You already know. You yeah. know what I mean? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, if you guys can understand what uh, what he did while we're here, if you're enjoying life right now, you're only enjoying it because Jesus died for us for you to be able to see that joy. You know what I'm saying? And of course, we don't know Jesus. We never met him personally. But the fact that we're here together and the love that we share, like we just came together, man, and we, we share this bond, shows something. You know what I'm saying? Shows love. You know what I'm saying? Shows unity, everything that Jesus died and represented. So we're trying to show, we, we have to show y'all, man, that you got, there's a God out there. And, and, and any joy, any happiness, any good came from God. You know what I'm saying? And his sacrifice for us. So we're going to talk about Jesus today, man. Um, Jesus salvation, man. Uh, Jesus died for you. Why Why do you care about Jesus? Why, what, what made you feel like, I'm just I'm going to give up everything and I'm going to follow somebody that you ain't even met? Okay. Uh, so for me, it was... I'll speak up on that. <laughs> uh, for me, it was... I spent most of my life pleasing like myself, yeah. living to like fulfill the need of my flesh that I felt like would make me happy. Yeah. And over the years of just doing that and hurting other people, me being hurt, me uh, having way too many late nights and, Dream. and yeah. Woo, and then, like, party, man. Oh, and then man. the next day waking up and being hung over and yeah. there were certain times where I just was thinking like what like what's the meaning of life why am yeah. i here yeah. you know like i i go to work every day i come home i do that you know monday through saturday yeah. and then sundays uh when i would hear about like family going to church and stuff i'd usually be like hung over yeah, yeah. and just like Can't you know it. yeah yeah and, <laughs> yeah and just like sitting there thinking like what like what's the point to life why, like, if, if all I'm here for is to, like, indulge in alcohol and, and sex and drugs and, like, trying to impress people all the time, like, mm -hmm. is that what makes me happy? Mm -hmm. Like, is, is that what life is all about? And I just, you know, <clears throat> spent too many times or too much time in relationships where I've seen no end. Yeah. I didn't really see like a future with anyone, but yeah. yet that's all I did was like seek more and seek more. And sometimes it'd be like with more than one woman, you yeah. know? And, yeah. and at the end of the day, it was like when, when I was laying there in bed at night, like, but do these people actually love me yeah. or do they just want to have fun with me? Like, I just want to have fun with them. And, yeah. And, you know, just like years and years of doing that and always wondering the same thing. Like, when am I going to be happy? Yeah. You know, when am I going to feel like I'm moving forward in life? And, uh, Deep, yeah. yeah, just, you know, going through that and never really feeling any kind of joy, just in the moment joy. But afterwards, when yeah. it was all done away with, just like, what was it all about? Yeah. What was the point? Yeah. You know, is there a point? Yeah. Uh, and then luckily when I... Well, not luckily, I believe the Lord put it together that uh, I met my, now my fiance, Jen. So shout out to Jen. Shout out to Jen. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, 
Wait, what? Now? Wait, wait, wait. Did I know that you was getting married? Oh, I don't know. Did I, I didn't tell I you guys. Know. It's supposed to be family. Look at that. Hey, my bad. I thought I told you guys. Oh, congratulations. Hey, they on the podcast. Hey, you know what that group thing was? Yeah, so they were all in the marriage counseling. We did the marriage counseling, the pre marriage thing. And I think after going through that and seeing, like, that we could get along, not kill each other, yeah, and yeah. our beliefs were the same, <laughs> yeah. because we know that when we do bring up kids, uh, I definitely do not want my kids to grow up the same way that I did, um, wasting time and and just indulging in all the, the nonsense of the yeah. world, you know what I mean? Like Caught up in that cycle, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. The insanity just, cycle, yeah. Like, partaking in things that really have no meaning, you know, like in high school, I felt like, oh man, like, I'm the man, you know, like I, I get all the girls and, all and this all is what life is all about. Yeah. <laughs> this, and, there's nothing else to it. Yeah, and then flash forward 10 years from, from then when I graduated, I realized like I was still trying to find pride yeah, yeah. in that life. And it's like, dude, nobody cares, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, Like yeah. the people I see from high school, they actually would be like, you're still doing that? Like, yeah, you know, yeah. so it was almost like an embarrassment. Like, <laughs> here I am thinking I'm like, yeah. I'm somebody and people are looking at me like, what are you doing with your life? You know? Yeah. Um, so that's, that's where my mind was. Like, what's the point to life? Yeah. Right. Then when Jen got me going back to church again, that's when I really started to listen and being like, yeah, you know, the Lord says that we shouldn't be having sex outside of marriage, you know? That's already what I'm doing most of my time. Yeah. Most yeah, of my free yeah. time is either chasing chasing after women in the hopes of doing that, mm -hmm. or that was what I was masking all my problems with my relationships would be. Yeah. It's like, yeah, these are horrible relationships, but I'll just keep having sex. The issue goes away until we have to deal with it again, uh, yep. and then we'll just have sex again. Oh, and yeah. then, That's know, everything. Just find that joy for now, and then yeah. we'll uh, figure it out later, kind of thing. Yeah. And you're stuck in this cycle. Yeah. Keep on doing that. Yeah. Exactly. A cycle. Not getting anything from it. Yeah. Just the same thing. Yeah. Like it's... moving all the time, but going nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I mean? Exactly. So, uh, then, by the like by the grace of God, I, my uh, my eyes started to be opened. I started feeling conviction, like in my heart about. Like these things that I'm doing are wrong mm -hmm. and why they're wrong because the Lord has given us a standard that's beyond what we think is right yeah. and what we think is wrong. Yeah. And you were willing to give that a shot, huh? just like, you know, let me yeah. try this. Let me, uh, nothing else is where I think, I think God does that too. Yeah. Where, cause I, I feel like we all have that same story. It's the point where you just start looking like, hold on, what am I doing right now? Like, why, why, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I mean? But we're around an atmosphere sometimes that accepts being in circles. When you're around other people that are running in circles, you don't realize you're running in circles until I think God puts us so deep into the ground. We're just like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, what's going on here? And then we start to question it. And as soon as you start to question it, God's like, I got you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We just plant that seed in our minds. And then all of a sudden you start to see like, all right, God did say not to do this. And then, you know, yeah. Start to carry it out and then, following what everybody else is doing. Yeah, well now you're leaving the circle, right? Now you're yeah. you woke, you woke, you know what I mean? So how did you how did God first get you? Like, you know what I mean? You know how he just you heard his voice, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Where you're like, I'm gonna start following God. Like, what did that sound like? Uh so for me it, it wasn't so much of hearing a voice. I feel like when you read scripture, you're hearing like God's voice. Mm -hmm. You're hearing his words. Mm -hmm. And if uh, I heard this pastor say it, if you want to hear his word, read read the Bible out loud and you'll hear him. Yeah. You know, then you hear yeah. his voice. Yeah. Um, but for me, it was just realizing all the things that I was doing were going totally against scripture. Mm -hmm. I thought it was okay. Scripture says it's not. Yeah. And I came to the realization, like, if I'm doing the things that I want to do, but I'm never being fulfilled, I'm never being satisfied. Mm -hmm then maybe it's time I stop doing what I want to do mm -hmm. and really start to seek the Lord in a genuine way where I want a relationship, I want joy, I want peace, I want to feel satisfied. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I was just never being satisfied with the life that I was living in. Going back to church and really seeking the Lord with, with like authenticity, you know what I mean? Like, like, um, really wanting to know what is the Lord saying? What is he trying to do in my life? Um, 
because for me, I, growing up in church, I couldn't believe that there was um, that there was no God. You know what I mean? Um, so as I started going back to church, I kept hearing like um, no sex outside of marriage, which meant like me and my girl, even though we talked about getting married, yeah. I felt like the Lord really couldn't do His work in my, in my life until. And I'm not saying that He's not capable of doing it. Yeah, He's nothing is impossible for the Lord, right? Yeah. But if if I'm not willing to submit to Him, mm -hmm. then why would He want to do work in my life? You yeah. know what I mean? Um, so that's when I was like, okay, like I'm ready to submit. So like like how you say it too is like people are like, man, how's he? Okay, because it's it's kind of hard for people just to go off of a book. But yeah, it's kind of you're being convicted, right? Yeah. Doesn't it feel like like he's it's something in you mm -hmm. and it's telling you that mm -hmm. this is right or this is wrong. Yeah. You know, and that's what people have to understand. You have the Bible, mm -hmm. but you also have the Holy Spirit, which helps both of those. You need both of those to guide you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And people think it's a hunch, it's a it's a clue, but that's how the Holy Spirit speaks to you. It speaks yeah. to you through that conviction. Mm -hmm. You know, we know what's right and wrong without knowing what's right and wrong because you feel it. You know something about this. You know what yeah. I mean? And that's how you're being guided basically yeah. on what's right and wrong. At first, did you guys ever feel like these were rules? Like 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 just rules that were just trying to keep you from living life? At first, yeah. Like, like yeah. I, don't, I just brought it up because that's how I felt like just reading and catching on to things or listening to what everybody else said. I was just like, these just sound like a bunch of rules to keep us in check. Mm -hmm. And that, that's how I thought at first just going through the Old Testament. You know, yeah. I was just like, I don't know if I want to listen to any of this because it's all like, it's a bunch what of rules. What you shouldn't do. But what yeah, what you shouldn't do, how to do it, yeah. why you do it, and why why they did it back, like, because I would read in Old, Old Testament. And I was just like, damn, like, do I really want to listen to this? And it's, at first I would struggle with just fighting myself and just being like, do I listen to it or... And I'll just try to like, oh, you know what, I'm, I'm done with it. You know, I'm not going to follow these rules. And then, like you said, it was something on your heart, something mm -hmm. compelling was just like, but maybe it is the right thing to do. Like, this is maybe the right way. I've been doing it the wrong way, like how you were just bringing up or talking about. And it's just like, damn, like, yeah. it's really something on your heart that Tell you feel. You. Telling you, yeah. Sometimes it'll yeah. pull you, huh? I think, yeah. Sometimes <clears throat> it's misconstrued, too. Sometimes people like, so I know people that are not believers will think like, oh, that's just your conscience telling you, you know, but if I listen yeah. to my conscience, then I'm going to go out and do the things that my flesh wants to do. Right? So what's a conscience? Well, so, so worldly, I feel like conscience yeah. is worldly. Mm -hmm. so Holy Spirit is like, it's, 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 it's hard to tell the it's it, but, it's, but there's, but are they the same thing? Is your conscience your Holy Spirit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they the same? Do it's you really guys agree with Yeah, I, I think confusing. there is no conscience. It's the Holy Spirit. I mean, con the worldly way is going to say conscious because they don't want you to know about yeah. the Holy Spirit. Because obviously, you know about the Holy Spirit, you know God's out there. Yeah. So I feel like they just changed it to you. That's my personal. I never looked it up. I don't know, but that's my opinion on it. And yeah. you know what I mean? Like I'm not going to say conscious. I'm Holy Spirit talking. That's how I know now. Like he's uh, got. I don't know. And then what do you call it when you're thinking about evil things? <laughs> like is that's that the devil? Mind. Is that the devil? Yeah. Is, that the, is that the demons in me? Well, <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't know like, how that happens. Because you, you think bad things, like we're just brought up naturally to do everything that we do is okay, or yeah. go off your feelings. You know, like just how everybody feels. It's just like, oh, you know, it's okay to go off of how you feel. Just go out and do it. You know, like the Nike sign, like just go, yeah, do it. just yeah. do it, just, just do, do it. it. You know, and that, how do you compare from your conscience to the Holy Spirit? Like so from doing something, something right yeah. to doing something wrong. That it's, it's a little it's confusing. Pretty deep, but yeah, I think. Uh, I'm not the subject. No, 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 that's, 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 that's I, I don't believe in coincidence, right? Yeah, I believe no, no. that the Lord allows everything for his purpose, right? Yeah, no, and definitely. like literally today, the verse of the day is like saying, repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, <sighs> right? So what did you, is that notes or is that you? No, that, no, is that I, something you I have on your phone? I read it today. That's in the Bible. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, uh, yeah, 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 that's in the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to know the verse, yeah, give them the verse for the eyes. Yeah, right. Right. So, so we can. I was so like, this would be Acts chapter two, verse thirty-eight. So are we saying there is no Holy Spirit without the death baptism. I I I think unless you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you repent of your sins. Okay. Then 
until you do that, like you proclaim him as your savior, then, yeah. then you're not able to have the Holy Spirit dwell inside of you, right? Okay. That's what okay. I think. So, I like that. This is what I think too. Okay, so I don't believe, okay, so, okay, I believe Jesus. Ghost in you, you're like, oh, I got it now, you know what I mean? <laughs> I believe it's there. Because mm -hmm. when I'm finding out about uh, God, it's like he's not, it's, it, it's, uh, it's, it, it's in us. Mm -hmm. If you believe in Jesus, you'll believe in his word. It's that simple. But if you don't believe in him, you have no Jesus. But see how they put it? Like you have no Jesus. Like it's actual a tangible something. But it's actually, you deny it. You, you, what you bind up, yeah. you bind up in, in heaven. Mm -hmm. And then when I learned that heaven is inside of us, like we bring heaven to earth. Like that's what we're praying for. But mm -hmm. not literally reach up here, bring heaven down. It's reach into here, bring heaven out. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's crazy. It's like, so if you think you want to believe in Jesus, you'll accept the word. Like, that's it. You know what I mean? Like, does that make sense? Like, yeah. I'm saying? So, so, do you have to be baptized? <laughs> well, so I'm not baptized. <laughs> think, but that's the, the baptism, process, right? The baptism is to show, like, that. I've heard people say that you don't have to be baptized to receive the Holy Spirit, or just as in, like, you just don't have to, as. Like, yeah, I guess that's how some people say it, but then again, you have to remember that salvation doesn't come by works. Yeah, exactly. So, you have to believe it for yourself right? yeah you believe it first and then but i think it's the process i i think i do think that it is the process mm -hmm. like um like jesus didn't need to be um baptized but he was baptized anyways yeah. right yeah. i i feel like that was to set an example mm -hmm. that we should to like show that we're washing away yeah. the sins and and well not that we're washing them away yeah. but we're going through the process of getting our sins the, like the remission of sins, right? Like yeah. our sins are washed away. And now we are able to like really seek the Lord. And that's like our pu like public proclamation of, of the Lord is uh, like Jesus Christ is our savior, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I have been baptized, you know? I, I don't really like maybe agree with, with the with the child baptism. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Only because... I don't really see. I, I stick to scripture. Yeah. And if, if scripture doesn't tell you to do that, yeah. Then I think that we should not create our own traditions. Yeah. And stick to like what does the word of God say, right? And, and if it's something, see, so that makes sense too because a baby can't decide mm -hmm. he wants Jesus, so that now he can read every day about Jesus. He they can't decide that. You know what I mean? So yeah. when you're old enough to make that a choice, you mm -hmm. know now I believe every word, mm -hmm. and because you have to have the belief, and then you have to have the word. Because you can believe in him, but if you don't know what he's about, what he does, how are you gonna how are you gonna put that to work? So, you know? so is that even point? Is it pointless to be baptized as a baby? Is, do, so do you need to get? Oh, and, and in the world sense? Yes. Yeah, yeah, in the world sense. I mean, yeah. I don't see why you're yeah. in the godly yeah. sense. Yeah. I was neutral. never even yeah. baptized as a child, and yeah. still haven't been baptized. Yeah. No, but I'm I'm ready to take that yeah. to to take that next step sure. to get closer to God and to have. I want to receive that Holy Spirit on a whole spiritual level. Like, I feel like I have it. I feel like there's something there. Mm -hmm. But unless I take that next step, maybe it'll get a lot deeper. I don't know, you know, but, but you yeah. just you just want to do what he just just do what God following God's steps. God, you got baptized. I don't know what's going to do, but I'll do it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know I'm, what I mean? I, that's I'm how I feel. People you know? to let people know that this is what I believe in. Yeah. And yeah. I, I want to be part of this this powerful thing that's yeah. moving in my life that I see around me and I want to be part of it. If I can get more out of it and if I need to do more out of it, I'm, I'm ready to take the next step. You know? Let's go, let's yeah. go. But see, that's your conviction. You feel it like yeah. so. And before I thought, I was like, oh, you don't need it. You know, it's like whatever to me. And then Either, I, I, would, I, I would also <laughs> feel like, oh, uh, I'm still doing bad things. I'm still not making the best choices. Like, do I even deserve to be baptized? I thought it was something you had to earn, something like even in Catholic, uh, like that type of thing was where you had to go to classes. There are certain things you have to do before you actually so see how you say that. That's without the knowledge of you the know, Bible. That was so so, so so when the enemy you comes know. into your mind and tells you something, like the only way to know if it's the right or the wrong thing is from the word. Yeah. Like then you right. can cut off the oh that's from the devil. Oh yeah. that's from the devil. You know what I mean? Like the Holy Spirit can guide you, but that's why you have to put it in so the Holy Spirit can put it out. So if you don't have this knowledge of God, the enemy knows that he's gonna be like, oh, he don't know this, so I can twist it and make it seem like, oh no, you bad for not getting uh, baptized. You don't have to get baptized. You don't have to do this, and he's just slightly just getting leading you the wrong way. You know what I mean? So, well, you know the devil. He is a deceiver, 
and he does know scripture. Yeah. So that's yeah, yeah, why yeah, I think it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's very yeah. important to know that you read and you study mm -hmm. and not just one verse that you see on, you know, a preacher yeah. say, oh, just this one verse. Uh, yeah. You have to read in context of the scripture to know what are they actually saying? Yeah. And is this person taking the word of God and twisting it yeah. like the devil does? Mm -hmm. Because, like, remember when Jesus was being tempted, yeah. the devil was trying to twist God's word yeah, to yeah. get him to tempt the Yeah, Lord basically. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's why, like, now I thank the Lord for giving me that that type of insight. You know what I mean? That way I know, am I being led astray? Yeah. Or what's going on? Because I know my purpose is, and what I believe all of our purpose is for being here, is to glorify the Lord with our lives, yes. you know? So, um, but yeah, so I think that if you want to be baptized, yeah. you definitely should. Yeah. Um, and if you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then, you know, Jesus doesn't leave a gray area. It's yeah. if you're not for me, then you're against me. Mm -hmm. So either you take all of what Jesus said and you apply it to your life or uh, in my opinion, maybe then you shouldn't. You yeah, know? no, seriously, because it's not gonna work for you. You already know. It's funny because I always thought you could be in between. Like, oh, like well, you know, I believe in God, but you know, that's enough. You know, I'm good. And then everybody talks about like, oh, everybody goes to heaven. Yeah. Like I, I have heard that. Like, doesn't matter what you do, as long as you repent, you're going to heaven. Mm -hmm. But what if you never knew God? What if you never read the book? What if you don't even like to read the Bible? You know, and yeah, that's when I don't know you. Yeah, you know, right? Yeah, and then that's why I started because uh, I didn't like to read. So I just didn't start reading the Bible. I started with the audio. Mm -hmm. So I started listening to it. Now I'll get so much out of it. And I was just like, dang, like, there's some good stuff in here. Yeah. Like, really good stuff. I was yeah. like, man, this is better than movies right yeah, here. Like, yeah. where's the movies at? Like, yeah. there's so many deep things that I feel like pastors leave out. And it's like, well, I, I didn't hear this. They, I feel like they just pick out the good parts just to bring people in. Mm -hmm. But they don't, it's uh, like, it includes all the all that deep stuff that even like there are some bad things that we all every every generation does something that that gets god mad and we, we feel the wrath of it you know we, yeah. we get the wrath of you know we see the dark side you know yeah like, it's, it's not that he's evil or anything it's just it's like a punishment pretty much but he never forgets the covenant that he made with his people yeah and uh, it's just it's just crazy like and that's what the, the whole repent, repent, man, repentance it's just, thing yeah. is too like people don't know what repent means like you can see it repent repent but are you going deep into understanding what this means mm -hmm. you have to have a uh your own relationship with god i can't tell you to go get baptized you can just do a quick see that's the thing if i told you to go get baptized you want to get baptized oh, that's something to do it's not in your head. It's yeah. not. It's not even. No, you're not going to even. Doing it. Yeah, yeah, but you're I'm not going to even have that love for God yeah. like like you would. You just did it because somebody told you to do it. Like, so that's oh, like that's you know, the next step is the right thing to do. Yeah, yeah. but what then you're you just do? doing going with the flow. Yeah, it has to be in your mind. Like, I want to do. It. Okay, God, what's next? You know what I mean? If you do it on your own, that's what happens. Somebody tells you to do it. You're like, all right, what's this person going to tell me to do next? Like, mm -hmm. and then or you're going to just stop. And you get nothing out of it. That's why you have to do everything on your own. Like. Uh, pastors can lead you, but you have to, they can't make you drink. Make all your decisions. So even if the pastors are wrong, never listen to a pastor and just say, okay, cool. You got to go in there and deal with it yourself. Say, you got to do your own Yeah, yeah. yeah your whole, you have your own Holy Spirit that's going to talk to you. It's just one, but I mean, your own conscience is going to talk to you or whatever, you know what I mean, that tells you. So nobody can tell you what's going on. So just, all you have to do is read. That's it. Yeah. Just read and then want to know, like, God, teach me. I didn't know how to love God once. I, I told him. I was like, God, how do I love you? I don't even know how do you do that. Like, you want us to call you dad. You want us to love you. I'm like, how do you do that? That's kind of weird. You know, at first it was kind of weird, right? It was like, and I was sitting there. I remember I was driving down this the street, and I'm just like, how do you do that? And man, did he show me? It was like little things, and I'm like, dang, look what you did for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Look what you did. Like, I know you did this. I just sometimes I just think in my head, like I just smile at him, like you know what I mean? Like that was cool. You know what I mean? Like stuff like that. And that's how I built that love because I started to realize and give him the credit for that. And that was you. That was you. The more you give him the credit, the more you love him because you know he's the one looking out for you. Did you ever just feel like, oh, like, oh, I did it myself? When, like, take uh, credit for it. I'm afraid to do that because I know. No. Because I. But before that. Like, oh, before, before that, you know, like, yeah, I that, remember just before anything, I would just be like, oh, like, I'm making it happen in my life because I choose to make it happen. Oh, yeah. I, I work hard for this or I'm doing that. Like, I would take all the credit. Thank and you. then you look back, no, I would do this. Yeah, I would do it every day. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I am where I am because I decided to make this happen, you know? Yeah. And then you get to this point of looking back and you're like, there's a lot of things I didn't do. It just, like, God put this in front of me for a reason. It wasn't just like, 
oh, like, this guy works hard. I'm going to give him this. Yeah. It was never like that. It was God opened up doors in front of me, gave, put a door in front of me, and I decided to open it. Yes. And then he, he, I went through a path, and I, there was another door and another door, and it wasn't just like, oh, like, I'm doing it myself. It was all because of him getting married, get, having kids. It wasn't just because I decided to. It was because God already had a plan. He already decided this is what's gonna happen. This is how it's gonna happen. Yeah. And you, I would look back and I'm like, this is that I'm the one doing it, not you. you yeah. Know? yeah. It was crazy because when I would let go of that, my pride and just be like, oh, okay, yeah, I, I did it myself. I would realize, no, like, no, this was given to me. Yeah. And it's crazy, like, you don't realize everything that was given to you, including our lives, uh, mm -hmm. like how we're able to experience everything we go through, and it's it's crazy how ungrateful we could be, like, especially with just in waking up every day, enjoying the activities we get to do. And I was just like, we don't appreciate anything. And I was just like, no, I was like, thinking about that. And remember, we were reading um, the, the Israelites, man. They were like, man, I'm tired of this food. Give me some meat. And the guy was like, oh, like that? Like, you know, tell me, give me some, oh, yeah. And I'm going to give you so much, you're going to choke on that. Like, Dang, he's real for that. But stuff like that's how we are. We're like, man. I'm, and I was trying to wrap my head around that, too. Like, why would they do that? Or why Why didn't God just give him some meat in the beginning? Like, he knew, you know what I mean? So, I, I, you know what I mean? But certain things, man. God does for a reason, and that just shows you. Look what you're doing. You want this, and then you, and if you eat too much, it makes you sick. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that's not really what we want. That's why I was like, we don't really know what we want. You know what I'm saying? Know. Because I, I get, I, I want something. Then once I get it, I'm like, I wasn't even that good. You know what I mean? Like you know, we don't appreciate it. He wants you to appreciate it. The only way that you're gonna appreciate something is if you work for it. That's why I think I like. Oh, I used to like crap, but. Because I worked <laughs> for it. Yeah, I'm saying like I wouldn't want it if it was just sitting out and it was just me. I want to go through the whole process. Yeah. I was, it takes so, so long. Like, as soon as I got to it, you know. Compared to like, uh, I don't know if you like chicken strips or like your chicken on a bone. Bone. Oh, you know, everybody says, oh, yeah. you know. But then what, I, I guess because you got work for it. For me, I was like, oh, I'll get some chicken tenders, you know? No yeah. bone out the way. But my yeah. girl, she's like, nah, like, you gotta have the bone. That's what the flavor is. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, I never even thought about it that way. Yeah, <laughs> I never man. Thought about yeah. It. I, like, I, 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 like, I just want it already, you know? I don't want to chew on no bone. Yeah, already. don't have to worry about the bone in the way. Just not eat it and be done. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then that's it. Well, but I yeah. I just want to hand it to me, don't I? That's don't it. even realize it. That's <laughs> it. You know what I mean? But that's how most of us are. And we don't realize it because generations have passed and we don't, you know, God has faded away. You know what I'm saying? And it's like we get everything out of Yeah. So you see what I'm saying? But that's what the enemy is trying to do. Fade him out slowly. Mm -hmm. And I always think about that, Look man. What like, we can do for you. We can give you good. And we have to remember. <laughs> and the enemy is patient. This mm -hmm. is the, the craziest thing I always look at. I look at how music was, uh, you know, when we were growing up. Mm -hmm. And and they would only say like the cuss word ass. You know what I mean? I was like, dang, but it was a it was a minute before they even let you say that. But yeah. now, look what they let yeah. come through. Yeah. And you just watched it over time, and you start to see, why are they putting it, why are they going so negative? Yeah, the world, if you look at it, I, I, this is how I look at the world, through the music. The, the worse the music gets, the worse the world gets. That's how I view every, I see it. It's like, so imagine if the music got better. Mm -hmm. The world would get better. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I see because I'm a musician, so I do I see everything that way. That's that's how I, my perspective on life. But imagine that. That's why you, I like to do positive music. Imagine what we can do, you know what I'm saying, with positive music. Like, But, like, the whole thing is he's patient. We're not patient. Fast food, we want everything right now. We're not, we don't want to work for anything. We, we want it now. Yeah, we just and want then, it now. Just yeah. give it to us. So how, how, why is the enemy patient and we're so, and then we're, we're, we're actually forced into this fast food era. You want it now and then look, now our, our, the workers are getting slain. They're getting mistreated, disrespected because we're trying to give the public something really fast. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, to me, it's like, you know that's the wrong way to do stuff. You know that it's, it's beating down on all these people. But why are you doing it? Why are you letting that happen? And then I think about the enemy being uh, slow, you know what I'm saying, to, to execute this. Like, so, so we don't think about it. Yeah. We don't, we're always in a hurry. So we don't even know what's going on. So much but going on. slowly, the world is changing for, for, the, the, for the worse. You know yeah, what I mean? They say it's for the better, though. <laughs> they say it's they, better. They say it's but what better. got better? <laughs> like what's really what happening? actually got better over 10 years' time? What got better? We get, it got we take, worse. We, get, take, we take more of the people's time. It's crazy. Yeah, they yeah. take more of our time and more of our thoughts. And more, more of our money. We, we more don't even know what they're yeah. taking. We're just going along with it because it's part of the system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the trap because that, I mean, if you believe in scripture, which I think it's obvious that we all do, yeah. that the devil's whole plan is to deceive us into believing his lie. You know, he yeah. 
He hates us because we're promised to reign with Christ when he returns. Yeah. And that's why he's um, like so focused on trying to get as many of us to fall away from faith and to live according to the world when like that's not what God wants for us. That's why he's given us scripture. That's why, I mean, if you have a problem following rules, then I feel like that's what I see mostly from the world is they don't want to be told how to live their life. They want something that is going to form to how they want to live their life. You know, like mm -hmm. when scripture talks about like sex outside of marriage, you know, regardless of, you know, uh, what gender you find attractive, if it's outside of marriage, it's not allowed. And yeah. that's not because that's what I say or that's what I think, but that's what scripture says. So, so what, what do you think happens? With sex out of marriage why do you think god even put that why, what what happened so i can speak from personal experience <laughs> yeah yeah that uh there's just so much wrong that can come from sex outside of marriage you know like one example uh, not be your example if you don't put it out there but yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah well you. i'm not ashamed <laughs> yeah, i'm not ashamed yeah. of what i've done in the past because i i know that in the eyes of men they may look down on me but I don't have to have shame because I put my trust in Jesus Christ, right? Yeah. And uh, when I was younger, obviously I was like in relationships and uh, a few of them left to abortions, you know? And back then I didn't think about anything but myself. And I was, all I thought about was, I'm not ready for this. But then as I got older and not till just recently, I really seen how wrong I was for what I partook in and what I allowed and what I was a participant in. Because if I wasn't ready to have a kid then, then why was I doing adult things that were gonna lead to a pregnancy yeah. or anything like that, you know what I mean? And, yeah. and it just, it made me realize like, bro, I'm responsible for murder. Yeah. You know, whether you think that babies aren't babies when when they're in the womb or whatever like god's word says that he forms us in the womb right so as soon as conception happens i mean even before you're con like conceived the lord has already put thought into you yeah. you know it says that he knew us before the foundation of the world right yeah. so that means before we know or before like time even existed he already knew yeah. like us you know what i mean so mm -hmm. and the fact that i partook in that now I can look back and like, man, I was so wrong. And all because I was thinking about sex. Mm -hmm. That's what I see on TV. That's what I see going on all around me. I mean, yeah. the world tells you, you're not a man unless you're, yeah. you're messing around with yeah, girls yeah. and, and just do it. And now I see it's like, think of it because it's too easy. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 it's just, we just made evil, anything evil. So, uh, uh, just easy. Mm -hmm. Easy, so easy that you just it just doesn't look evil anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, like it's, it's just common. it's common yeah. and it's a tradition. And the Everything more and you see, the more we get the world to agree to evil, the more it's normal, common. It's just like you know what I'm saying. Evil. We're just going how how we film, what we think is right and wrong. Like what 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 what, what does it matter on how we film, what we think? Yeah. Like yeah. we're just going off of what we're learning from everybody else. Yeah. But we're not learning anything from the Bible. We're just going off of. Everybody another else. person. You think it's all right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why would you judge them? Like, you know, yeah, yeah. Like, are you one down there? Who is that person? Like, who are we to even think that we have this type of power or even just to do these type of things? Like, we just think we're, like, everybody just thinks that they're, I don't, I don't want to say, like, God or anything, but everybody well, thinks, you know, exactly yeah, right. like, they because want to think what, that say they have their choice. Think, it doesn't yeah. matter, yeah, you know? Say wants you to think, we want you to be your own God, and you can see it in the music. You can see it. Like, right. You know what I mean? Like, everybody wants to be their own God. Mm -hmm. I'm a king. I'm a this. Yeah. Like, like, you didn't say near no person. Mm -hmm. You just rap. You know how to rhyme really good, and it makes you a God. I just, I never understood. Like they get followers, and they think, like, just like in social media. They get like, people to agree. Mm -hmm. They get so many people to agree. And just, and that's the thing, man. It's like money can do anything. Mm -hmm. So you can have money behind a negative thing and make it popular because everybody wants money. Even if it goes against your uh, subconscious, you really believe, but you don't want to be broke. You know what I'm saying? And that's the trap. It's like, but that's why we have to believe in the Bible and listen to the Bible because God, that's why God says, I'll take care of you. 
That's why you can't trust money and God because it will corrupt your morals because you're going to do anything for the money. But if you do anything for me, I'm going to supply you with everything you need. You don't need what you think you need. They're making you look like everything is about money and every you need to be like this Paul person and have this and person. All of that. But as as believers, we know once you step out the world, like I don't even care about that. Yeah. It'd be nice to have it. But, you know, it seemed, It'd be nice it to have like a, you were a, an outcast. Uh, yeah. You didn't do it. You know? Because we're around people that think with that mind right. and you to be it, like that's how hard it is to to be around people and, and that don't agree with you. You just look like a weirdo and they make sure you feel like yeah. that. But if you have that strength in God, like honestly, we know the truth. Really, we can look at them like you guys are weirdos. Like, whoa, you think that's cool? Like, that's not even a lot. We you thought I mean? we were the weirdos. And yeah, they're just doing all the wrong things, and they're hurting inside, but they make it seem like it's all okay. Yeah, it's like look at your life compared to uh, somebody that really believes they're actually happy. They're and actually you're, happy. You're, you're mad. faking it. Yeah, yeah you're, you're like, yeah, it it's just I'll, like I remember just faking it to myself. Like, oh, this is we all did. You were like, oh, like this is what it takes to be a man. Like, you know, just either sleeping with women or whatever it was, or the most whoever has the most money that you're around. You just, you just felt like. This is what made you. Yeah. Like without this, you would feel like nothing. Yeah. And that's the craziest part. Like you would feel like nothing if you didn't have money, if you didn't have a girl. But when you went home and you didn't have a girl on your bed, or if you just didn't have money in your bank account, who are you? you know? yeah. Who am I without who, money? Yeah, who are, who Nobody are, who, cares who about me. Yeah. But and it's like, but with God, you don't need anything. And it's crazy on how society and just tradition makes it just like, oh, if you have all this, you're happy. This is all you need. But you can get as much as you want. You can get to the point that you wanted, and you're still gonna want more. You're never satisfied. On um, how many girls you sleep with, how much money you get, you never get satisfied. You hear it from actors. You hear it from everybody. Like I wish everybody, like Jim Carrey once said, was like, I wish everybody could get what they want, could have receive as much money as they always wanted, and they'll realize that's not what happiness is. Wasn't that Wonder Woman? Didn't they do that? They end of Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Everybody oh, got to yeah, wish and get their wish and seeing that everybody oh, yeah. just the world just went it, it was unhappy. You know what and then mean? you just had to give up what you wish for and just do what's right. Yeah. Just do what's right for everybody else. That's it. Stop looking out for yourself and look out for everybody else. Oh, that was oh, a good moral story. I was, I was driving from <laughs> I was driving from group and I was thinking something. I was like, imagine you, right? Imagine. Me sitting here, and I got my chains on, million dollars just sitting here, right? Feeling it, right? <laughs> and, then, and then you turn the camera right next to a, a kid that can't afford anything, okay. that can't eat. Okay. How would you, like, look at that? Do you feel good about that? That's how the world should see it. Like, you know what I mean? That they don't see it like that. That's what makes, that's what humbles me. Whenever I feel like, dang, I want some of this, or I wish I had this, I think about a kid that doesn't have nothing. And people don't care about that. But really, if you think about it, like, this kid, can't be where you're at. They just don't have the information. You know what I'm saying? We're so, we're so all we got, whatever, so we don't, but you you know, the, most of those people know how to make money. So you know that you have to know how to make money. Why'd you teach this kid to make money instead of flossing on? That's how stupid it looks. Flossing, flossing on, on little kid, you know what I mean? <laughs> got the chain, he's over there just starting. It's like, I just thought about that picture and I was like, that's what always keeps me humble. When I think about the people that don't have them, that's how I can care about the people. I was like, it's not because they're poor and that's just the way it's supposed to be. That's a lie. It's, it's because they weren't taught what we were taught. We're held certain education, we're held certain things to keep us down. And then they get you to, oh, this is what it's all about. If you're this, you're this person. And people for, uh, people get so into their selves that they forget about, like, I'm just glad to be out of it. Nah, man, you got, that's why, I mean, I, I just, it, to me, it just it just kills me just to think of that, man. It's just, that's, I wish the world could see that. And that's what I, just picture that, you know what I mean? Like, that's what it looks like when you sitting there glorifying people that have money and sitting there thinking like you're supposed to have all this stuff. There's people out here starving. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to be like, I don't even care about that. As long as my family can eat, I hope that God gives me the, you know, enough money to just go around the world and teach people how to have money. You know what I'm saying? Like, why do we want to floss on people? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're really floss, like kids are eating. I can see if they're all your age and you feel like that, but there's kids that aren't eating. So we have to take this seriously. You know what I'm saying? That's when it's, that's when I, you know what I mean? Like people that can't do anything for themselves. And we're sitting, we're, we're grown men talking about, I got this chain that costs this and people can't eat. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. I just hate all these mansions with all these rooms. And, and then people, people that can't can afford a house. And a bunch of people that live together in order to live off of a kid, yeah, bro. I, I think every every Christmas, Everything. I think of kids that that man. Imagine if they just had something. They just, I would hate Christmas. Like you know, I mean? I, I've been through a Christmas before where I couldn't afford something for my daughter, and 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 we had to sit in the house with people that could, and it just made me feel the worst I've ever felt in my life. You know what I'm saying? And everything's changed since then, but it was like I I would never forget that day. I would never forget that day. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's crazy.
and just I think uh, when when I put my faith in Jesus, like I started to see the way that the Lord was moving in my life, and it, it changed my perspective on what I thought was valuable, you know. And now it's like uh, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't sleep around, and I'm happier than I've ever been in my life. Yeah. You know, right. like I don't partake in the partying, I don't do anything like that, and not because I'm trying to take credit, but because I see the Lord moving in my life to where He's made those things not even appealing to me anymore. It's not even fun anymore. No, no. There's so much Jesus in it. Yeah. That club out. Yeah, yeah. I, I find. I find happiness in reading scripture and, and getting revelation and being man. like, man, I understand this now. Yeah, and you, you can, know? and it's with your life. So you're like, you get to live it. It's yeah. not something you just read like a book and it's done. You actually get to see what you read and you get to live it. Live yeah. it. You know what I mean? That's what makes it the scriptures come alive. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's that's why I, I never really have this conversation with people, but like to anyone that speaks against scripture, it's like, please give me one example. Of what Jesus said that was so hateful yeah you know the world wants to talk about like being loving we just got to love each other you know we got to we got to yeah. do this we got to do that well if you just listen to what Jesus is saying yeah. and you obeyed yeah. you know I know some people don't like oh I don't I'm I don't have to submit I don't have to obey yeah. I love to obey yeah, because too. I see that if I follow the teachings of Jesus right that like what am I losing? Yeah. If all I'm doing is loving. Yeah. You know, if if I don't know how to treat people because I'm selfish, yeah. you know, I want I I think about me, 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 right? But then if I follow what Jesus is saying, it's not about me anymore. It's yeah. about my my fellow like human beings, my brothers and sisters, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Uh I think like to think like that there's different races is just ridiculous you yeah. know there's only one race it's yeah. the human race yeah. and to to think like that is just like it's ridiculous to me you know yeah. like yeah. i believe that we are all children of god yeah whether you choose to accept him as your father or not yeah that's your business yeah. but even if you choose not to jesus has taught me that i'm supposed to love you anyways yeah, yeah you yeah. know and and, and like, please give me a better example of how the world should be. Exactly. If we hate the people, I mean, uh, if we love the people that hate us, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. then like, I just, I don't see like a, a better way to, yeah. to live. You know what I mean? So Jesus, Jesus made that. He said, it, man, he's the way, the truth, the life, because it's not even you obey him and life works out exactly how you wanted it to. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't get. And it's so funny how people don't even try to give the Bible a chance, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just look at these leaders and say, like, I, I want to, that their way is so easy, I want to do that. They know you're lazy, they know you don't want to do anything. <laughs> like, mm, let's just follow this, you know what I mean? Whatever, you just do what I tell you to do. That's it, man, but it's like, if you could just, it's, and I, I know people hate the word obey. I know they hate the word submit and all this stuff, but it's really not like that. It's just, you've been taught wrong? Yeah. Me, let me let me guide you, okay? Just trust me and just follow these things. All right, I know, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, I'm just saying, I want you to be happy. That's all it is. The Bible is just telling you, I just want you to be happy. It's up to you. You know, it's going to shut it down your throat. You know what I mean? But if you do this, everything you want and you desire, and you know, you're going to have. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I mean? It's just, we missed the point. But that's crazy, man. But, oh, yeah, uh, man, we could talk hours about <laughs> Jesus. You know what I mean? As you can see, man, we all passionate about God. Um, I don't want to go too long. I know you guys got things to do, so but uh, and we're gonna keep on this. Hopefully, you're gonna come back. You know what I mean? And we can do this again. Rob, you already know he's yeah. on a few of them already. Like this is what we love to do, man, and to show you guys because through our example, through our experience, we've seen God work. You know what I mean? And and then we wanted to see it for the world because obviously you see where it's going. It's only getting worse. You know what I'm saying? And it's because people don't understand these what we're saying. They don't understand who God really is. You know what I'm saying? So. I hope you guys get something from this. I know you guys are gonna get at least one thing from this and that's that's all that matters. You know what I'm saying? If we could just change somebody's perspective because you don't need money, you need to change your mind, your your, your idea of God and everything else will flow in life. You know what I mean? It's not gonna be easy because you're fighting against everything you were taught. You know what I'm saying? But once you get to that point, man, your life's gonna change. You know what I'm saying? And what you think you want, you don't really want. 
You know what I'm saying? And you got to give God a chance. You know what I mean? And you'll see you'll see what you really desire and what you really want. Let him lead you. You know what I mean? So, high boy soldiers, all behind there. Uh, my boy Jacob, my boy Rob, you know what I mean? And uh, we out of here. Peace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo! Hey, I like this.